Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my VIB Sephora haul. Uh, this is the VIB card. It's when um, you've made um, a certain dollar amount of purchases at Sephora, then you get to the next level and they give you the new card, the VIB card. And then they have, I think it's two sales a year where you get 20% off all the products um, that you purchase when you um, reach that level. So today I am going to show you guys what I purchased during the VIB sale. So the first thing I, I got was the um, Smashbox. Um, and this is the um, photo finish uh, more than primer. It's the blemish control. It's the green one. Um, and I got this because I have breakouts, um, especially at that time of month. I have breakouts. So I got this product. And uh, I haven't tried it before, but I wanted to try this one uh, just to see how it works. Um, and the consistency of it is... Not too bad. It's pretty much like the um, the MAC consistency. Um, that's normally what I use, the MAC one. I wanted to try this one because it was specifically for blemishes. So I'm going to give that a try. might do a review and see how it compares to the MAC one and if it really does help with uh, controlling blemishes. The second thing that I got was this smash box. It is a box of um, eyeliners. And I actually went to get a gold one, and then I had that. I think it was the Stilo. It was in gold, and I liked that one. And then I walked by and saw this box, and it had I think it's five in here. And I really was like, ooh, they got a purple and a blue. So I was like, if they have all of those, and it was forty-two dollars for this box, and um, the Stilo ones, I think they're twenty-one, twenty-two dollars, and this was forty-two, and I got five. So I said, let me try them. So let me swatch them for you guys so you can see what they look like. Um, this is the first one. So the first one is the blue. Oh, and they go on so smooth. It is blue, and the color of it is called 3D Blueprint. And they go on really, 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 really smooth. So I like that. And blue, I like blue eyeliner, and I like blue uh, mascara as well. And black the black and this is why I bought it this gold is the reason that I bought this thing oh, that is so pretty look at it uh, yeah I really like that one a lot I'm gonna have to do a video with that on there that is the gold and then they have brown and the brown and the blacks on the normal colors oh that brought Brown is really, really dark. It almost looked black. And a purple. So let's see what this purple looks like because I didn't swatch it in the store. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. I hope you can see it. So, and the purple is called, I'm just calling them purple and not calling them by whatever the name is. The purple is Royal. Um, the brown is Sumatra. The black is called Raven. The gold is called Cleopatra. And of course, I did tell you what the blue was. It was 3D Blueprint. Another thing that I got was the um, Kat Von D. It was the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And the color, what's this color called? Damn, and it is a deep dark burgundy which I love burgundy I love burgundy lipsticks and it is a matte lips liquid lipstick and I have two of her um, actual lipsticks so this is the first time that I bought a actual lip gloss well they call it a liquid lips lipstick but same difference to me but it's matte and this is the color. It is so pretty. I can't wait to try that out. So my next tutorial, I will probably have this on. And you guys see what it looks like on with some makeup. The fourth thing I got is this um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I have not tried it. I'm pretty much a matte girl. And I got this in the color. What color is this? 177 or Y505 
And I wanted to try this out because I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about this uh, foundation. I don't have it on now. Of course, I have on my Mac. And I'm just opening up the box. So I'm going to um, give this a try and do a tutorial on it and see how well I like it. I did a swatch every when I was in the store. And I liked how it looked. So it, pretty, it was a good match to my skin tone uh, when I rubbed it in. And my hands are actually a little bit lighter than my face. Um for now once it gets a little bit colder then i'll be bright yellow but for right now they're a little bit lighter um and it i like the consistency of it it is not that thick and it dries really really fast and it doesn't have an orange undertone the next thing i bought was the um becca highlighter it's called becker shimmering skin per perfecter pressed um and it's in the color moonstone I actually wanted to get the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, one in this color, but they have been out since forever in the Macy's store. And this is similar to it in color. So I got this. Uh, I think the color is really, really pretty. Let me swatch it and see what it looks like, y'all. See that? That's really pretty. But I wanted to give the Becca a try. I don't have any Becca products. So I wanted to try it and see how it does. So on um, my next video, I will wear that and give it a try and see what it looks like. Okay. And the next thing I got was some Sephora foundation that I'm going to use actually as a bronzer um, because it's dark. It is the color 65 Very Dark. But this is a powder. The girl um, in Sephora actually talked me into getting it. So I'm going to give it a try and see if I like it. And let me swatch it on my hand. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's there. So it comes out pretty pretty dark. So I think it'll look alright. Go with a brush. To do contouring with. But I really prefer creams. But we'll see. I also bought um, some Urban Decay um, eyeshadow. And the color is uh, Zodiac. And I love this color. I did not need this. But I walked by and saw the color. And was like oh my god. That's beautiful for the holidays. So I'm going to do a holiday makeup tutorial on this color. I'm going to fall in love with it as well. It is beautiful. And it's got a lot of pigment in it oh my god it is so beautiful see that and it's shimmery perfect for the holidays i mean just perfect you know, i think you might see it better that way oh yeah it's beautiful cannot wait cannot wait to wear that it's a very beautiful color and green is my favorite color so i bought green i did not need it um, but I bought it anyway um, because I like it and we buy stuff because we like it we don't care if we need it or not I don't have any Urban Decay eyeshadow so that is my first one I also bought four um, of the Sephora blushes and I bought the Sephora um, case that they go in the Z palette um, and this Z palette, I don't know if you guys have one or not, but it is magnetized at the bottom. They give you the little, um, uh, metal things to stick on the bottom of your cases if they are not magnetized. I mean, if they don't have metal on them already so that they will stay in the case. And, um, they give you this little key to actually pry them up off of it. So... Um, the colors that I bought are, um, let's see what this is. The first color is Oh My Gosh. Um, the second color is Hey Jealousy. And they're pretty bright colors. This one is called Heated and it's a more neutral color. Um, and this one is called Too Hot. And some more orangey color, orangey peach color. And let me swatch them for you. Okay, for the too hot, I'm gonna swatch this. And that is what it looks like. Okay, this is the Hey Jealousy, and this is the colors kind of similar to what I usually wear. Um, 
it's very pink but up against a darker skin tone um it looks really good my and this one is the oh my gosh and it's a more of a reddish orange cover and it's pretty it looks um similar to the too hot it looks similar to that but it's a little bit deeper in color than that one but i um like it i wanted some um, more of an orange blushes and this one is the heated and it's a peachy rose color and i'll put that at the top it's not as pigmented as the other ones but it shows up it got a little shimmer to it so it's pretty so i'll try them out and see how they work out one last thing that i purchased was this is the black sorbet the sephora it is a um lipstick it is a matte lipstick that i got um i I actually sampled it in the store and I really like the actual color of it um, and it dried in a matte pretty much like the the um, Kat Von D. See how matte that dried? Oh, that's so pretty. I cannot wait to wear that. I'll put this right beside it because this is a little bit lighter. Well, not a little bit. It's a lot lighter. This is more of a, a mauve type color and that's a deep purple. But those are the colors I like on my lips. Dark colors. See, that beside it, that is pretty color, very pretty. Good for fall and winter, both of those are. So I'm going to do a tutorial and use both of these and one of them, don't know which one, but I will list them all. So that is pretty much it. Everything that I got besides some brush cleaner because I need it because my brushes are filthy, nasty, dirty because uh, I have not cleaned them and I need to clean them. I've been cleaning them in the Johnson's. Um, baby shampoo so i said i was going to try some blush brush cleaner and see how that does but i probably end up going back to the baby shampoo because it's so much cheaper um anyway that is it for everything that i got at the sephora bib sale i hope that you guys liked it um and it was of some interest to you so i will see you guys in my next video and thank you guys for stopping by Bye-bye. have on a synthetic lace front wig. It is the um, Bishi um, Deep Lace Wig. I got it from, uh, what was the website name? Oh, the website was Elevate Styles was the site that I got it from. And I'm going to list all the information down below um, about the wig. But the...